Blackstone Audio and Skyboat Media present The Fallen Sparrow by Dorothy B. Hughes. This book is read by Stefan Rudnicki. For Eric Ambler, 2nd Lieutenant, Royal Artillery, somewhere in England, because he has no book this year. Prologue There was the heat. There was the darkness. Beyond these boundaries, there was nothing but sound. His eyes had learned to see in the dark. This dark, lifted from blindness only by the small iron grill high in the wall, too high for fingertips to reach, his eyes could distinguish the marks his broken nails grooved in the earthen walls, the marks which told him the day but not the month or year, the long groove for Sunday, the day of church bells. That the war was over, he knew. Church bells were rung again in Spain. There was always sound. The heat he could not overcome. It was a moist black sponge enveloping him. His quivering hands brushed at the dank swarm of it, tore it away from him. But it resettled persistently, a stolid, unaware weight. There wasn't enough water, a warm cup twice a day. Sometimes the weak tears dribbled his cheeks, and the taste of wet grime and salt was life-giving to his cracked lips. Sometimes he wasn't asleep, but his mind went away, and he and Louis were splashing barefoot, two ragged boys with summer-shaven heads, in the blissful wake of a sprinkling truck on the New York streets. Sometimes his mind was clear, and there was a greater thirst for Barbie, for the cool cleanness of Barbie. There was always sound. He couldn't stand it again, not even to return to her. She was waiting for him. How long she'd waited now, he didn't know. He could only tally days. She waited. She was cool and clean as a birch, and her eyes were like rain. But he couldn't stand it another time. He couldn't. He'd have to tell. When that sound came again, he'd tell. Let them win. They'd won anyway. He was too small to halt the juggernaut. He was too tired, too hot, too parched. His body too agonized to dare any longer. Even the changeless truths that had sent him with gay heart and arrogant passion to join the International Brigade had gone in heat and dark and bestiality. He couldn't defend these longer. Sample complete. Ready to continue?